Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Swans Mates for Life podcast. I'm your host, Ronnie Masri, and today we're going to be talking about how life is going during the quarantine. So the quarantine in Spain came into effect around two to two and a half weeks ago, and it hasn't necessarily been the easiest time for a lot of us. However, it's very important to be grateful for the fact that all of us and anybody watching this video is most likely doing a lot better than the average person is doing during the quarantine. We all live on the Costa del Sol. Uh, we're still able to go to school via the Google Meet uh, software. And we're still able to communicate with our friends. And we're not, you know, we don't have food shortages. We don't have food shortages yet. Uh, most of us, I hope, still have toilet paper. And all of us are healthy. I haven't heard of anybody yet in our school has got, who has gotten the coronavirus. So perhaps if you start looking at the things that are good and perhaps what you have, it will help you stay positive in this, this relatively hard time. Um, anyways, I think it's also important that despite the fact that we are in a quarantine, we also have to keep up with our daily habits and tasks. We can't just stop doing some. Uh, I think one of the most important things to keep on doing is exercise or just some form of physical activity. Um, there are many, I mean, millions upon millions of workouts, home workouts you can find on the internet, be it YouTube, be it an article. There's, it's so easy to exercise at home and there's no excuse not to do it. And the reason I'm telling you to keep on exercising is because exercising reduces stress, it keeps you happy, and it, most of all, it keeps you healthy, which uh, we all need during this time. We need our immune systems to be strong so that we don't uh, get like really hurt if we somehow do get the coronavirus. So keep on working out, uh, exercising somehow. Uh, and I also want to mention that a lot of people have perhaps think that just because there's the Google Meet meetings, um, they can kind of, you know, not try as hard during school, they can kind of get out of some tasks. Please don't. You're going to regret it in the future if you don't keep on working hard at school. Just because we're on the Google Meet meetings doesn't mean that you can kind of push school to the side. Just keep on working hard. I know it's going to be, We a lot of kids I've heard have told me that uh, they're getting a lot of increased workloads, but just keep on persevering through it. I promise you, at the end of hard work, any hard work, there is growth. And growth is perhaps the most important thing that we can do as, uh, that we can obtain as human beings because we're getting better. And I find that during, after all of this is done, we're all gonna be perhaps a little bit better than we were before the quarantine because now we've lived through a quarantine, we've lived through a pandemic. So <laughs> we're gonna be more experienced with things like this, perhaps if they happen in the future, which is becoming increasingly uh, an increasingly larger chance as there are no more, as we're running out of antibiotics. So, you know, it's nice to have the experience of what it's like to be in a quarantine. So I hope you enjoyed my small podcast. Um, thank you for tuning in and yeah, have a nice day. Stay happy. Thanks.